hello let me just get myself situated here so this will be one of the first videos in my pregnancy diaries thing i'm making and i wanted to make this for myself and for anybody else interested in what's happening during my first trimester of pregnancy that's so weird to say growing a human and i'm making this because i really enjoy these videos i think they're very fun and informative makes you feel not alone and um just lets a woman talk about something very normal and should be talked about which is pregnancy so here we go so this will be kind of a recap of what's been going on and what i've experienced during week four of my pregnancy and the very beginning of week five i'm out of breath that's one of the things <sighs> i get out of breath and I'm pretty tired. So, um, something I've noticed is that at night I get itchiness in random spots. Like, my shoulder will itch for like a second, my head will itch for a second, my, my side will itch for a second, and I have to itch it. It's like I cannot just let it go, I have to itch it. So that goes on for like five minutes before I can sleep. So random itchiness when I try to sleep. <laughs> my uterus is very noisy. Has anyone else experienced this in the first weeks or your first trimester of pregnancy? Very noisy uterus. And during my period, it's actually pretty normal for my uterus to like make noises or like, <laughs> like almost like your stomach is growling, but it's not quite that. It's, it's very busy right now. So of course it's noisy. <laughs> Has that happened to anybody else? Noisy uterus. Eating way more, I've noticed. <laughs> not like way more, but I'm definitely eating more. I'm eating a lot of sweet things. I love sweets. I normally love sweets and I am just loving them more. I love, love, love sweet things. My nose has been a little bit more congested and I looked this up and it is a symptom of pregnancy which is very weird to me. So yeah some slight nose congestion, nothing crazy just a little bit. Mood swings, yes. So I'll be happy one minute and then like incredibly annoyed <laughs> the next moment. <laughs> ah, so yeah mood swings which I would compare to yeah like PMS mood swings just a little more extreme. I'm still so early in my pregnancy so I don't know if I'm like really showing. I have a little tiny bit of a belly, but I think it's mostly being bloated. What else? I get really, really hot sometimes. It's very sudden. It only lasts a few moments, so that's good because it's very uncomfortable. Another big one that I've noticed is like I get this overwhelming feeling that I have to get my ish together. Like we moved into this house just a few months ago and we've had just an ongoing list of projects we want to do and um, remodeling things we want to take care of within the house and I just get this feeling of like we have to get it done now we have to do it we have to do it before the baby comes but like we don't it's okay if we put that off it's totally fine but yeah I just get this feeling sometimes it's like you have to organize this you have to get this together <sighs> I'm still out of breath any cravings N nothing crazy and nothing super extreme but I've had slight cravings of like anything sweet like I've said berries I just really want berries also sour patch kids I really really just wanted that sour taste and then the sweet taste the gummy taste sour patch kids so I got them and ate them and loved them that's my update for week four going into barely week five and I will keep filming these little videos during my pregnancy seeing how it goes week by week because i love watching these videos and relating to the person in the video being like oh yeah i have that symptom too and so maybe someone watching this will be like yeah my uterus also makes a lot of noise <laughs> and you'll know you're not alone hello i'm back it's been many weeks since my last clip in this video i think i filmed last when i was like five weeks pregnant now i am 14 very close to 15 weeks pregnant Holy cow, it's so crazy. And I think before I talked mostly about week four, week five, so I'll go more into week five and I'll show the rest of the notes I have about each week and let you know how my first trimester went. Okay, let me just get a little comfier here. So, uh, got lots of notes here. So week five, very tired, extremely tired, so exhausted. I would be working and just like close my eyes at my desk just to rest for a second because I was so tired. A lot of peeing. HCG makes you pee a lot, so that's that's what happened. It was also during this week that I cleaned out our fridge because I knew that I was very likely going to feel nauseous very soon, and I didn't want the fridge to gross me out or have to clean it out later when I was feeling nauseous about things. So I thought about my future self, cleaned out the fridge, cleaned out all the old food. It was pristine and beautiful, and I'm just really proud of myself for doing that. Also during this week, pregnancy was still very new, so I'd forget about it, and then remember and be like, oh yeah, 
but I have a note here that I definitely felt different around the middle, like some stretching was happening, some slight growing, and I now know that I definitely was bloated in week four because I stopped being bloated and it was like, oh yeah, okay, that's, yep, I was bloated last week. <laughs> So, um, stopped feeling bloated, which was nice, but that really just came and went repeatedly during my first trimester. And I started using a pregnancy app. I downloaded the What to Expect app to track my pregnancy, and it compares your baby to the size of, like, fruits or movie props or 90s nostalgia. And it's just a fun app to have to see how big your baby is, what is developing at that time before your baby, what symptoms you may experience. It also gives you tips each day to be like, remember to stay hydrated and do some prenatal yoga and <laughs> things like that. It also includes like discussion forums from other people that are pregnant and they're due at the same time around you. So it was fun to have that information when I ever wanted to kind of see what other people were experiencing and know what what other people were going through. And I've enjoyed using the app so far. So if you're pregnant and you wanna track your pregnancy, it's the what to expect app. Week five, I also had headaches and I craved cottage cheese. Loved a good cold bowl of cottage cheese with some pepper sprinkled on top. It's kind of like a thing I ate when I was a kid too. So yeah, I loved that. Oh, that made me so happy eating a bowl of cottage cheese. <laughs> anyway, moving on to week six. Week six, I really wanted acidic foods, tomatoes, orange juice, pasta salad with the Italian dressing on top. I wanted it so bad. And I even bought everything to make my own pasta salad, but it's just different when you make it yourself. And then the craving went away and I was like, well, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I also seem to have just a horrible taste in my mouth at all times. I would brush my teeth a lot. I would eat mints a lot to help alleviate the bad taste. Also, something that saved me was Eclipse gum. I bought two little canisters of Eclipse gum. I would just bite off a half a piece so it would make my mouth taste better and then I'd like get sick of the gum like four minutes later so then I'd spit it out. But it definitely helped with the bad taste in my mouth. So Eclipse gum, definitely recommend that. I also felt many, many, many nauseous, feeling sick not feeling good moments. Don't miss that time at all. No, just not. Ugh, it's horrible. And to help alleviate the nausea, they recommend keeping food in your stomach, having snacks and food with protein, but it's just so dumb because you feel so sick and the idea of food makes you sick, but you have to eat food to not feel sick. It's so annoying. So I ate a ton of snacks. I tried to eat foods with protein, like that cottage cheese. I also really loved, um, I would just get like these protein granola bars just to make me feel a tiny bit better and fill my stomach up with some protein. I also really liked cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers was a good, good snack at that time. And during this week, I would usually feel good in the evening, which, which was great. I would feel normal. I would feel like myself and I'd be like, oh, this is great. I'm not feeling sick. And that didn't last very long. I also had to eat something right when I woke up, which I'm not used to doing. Um, if I didn't, I would feel sick right away. So I had to eat right when I woke up. I was also sneezing a lot, like a lot, a lot. Has anyone else experienced increased sneezing when they are pregnant? It's like 10 times more than I normally sneeze. <laughs> so much sneezing. And then week seven through 13 were very much the same. I'd have to snack constantly in order to not feel sick, although I'd still feel sick for a lot of the time, so I don't know if that really helped. I hated the taste of water, just plain water. I knew it was so important to stay hydrated and drink water, and at one of my appointments, the nurse was like, to help with the water situation, we recommend filling a glass full with ice, and then half Gatorade, and then half water. And I tried that, and it did work for like three days, and I was like, well, I'm sick of this now too. So I had some struggles. And then I tried just one of those powder mixes you put in a bottle of water to flavor it, and that solved the problem immediately. And I was like, okay, I can drink this, it's good. I'm fine with it, my stomach likes it. And then I drank a lot of flavored water. <laughs> I could finally stay hydrated and drink much more water than I was drinking before. So that helped me immensely. I would feel sick in the evening from eating dinner and onward. And I would just be like, I'm so done with the day, I'm going to sleep because I know I'll feel better in the morning and I'm just feeling sick right now. And that's how it was from week seven to week 13, just feeling sick a lot. <laughs> first trimester sucks and it's okay if you hate it, okay? If you're in your first trimester and you don't like it, 
it's okay if you don't like it because it's horrible but hopefully it gets better because now I'm in my second trimester and it is better I hope it gets better for you so on the weekends during this time I was feeling sick I was feeling so tired, so I was just lay in bed all weekend. Some foods I enjoyed, and I was very okay eating them during this time, was dry cereal. I loved Frosted Mini Wheats, Life Cereal, Honey Nut Cheerios, uh, Berry Berry Kicks. It was like the most cereal I've had in years. And it made my brain feel good knowing that these cereals are fortified with vitamins and minerals, so my body was getting at least some nourishment from like a bowl of cereal that I was having trouble getting elsewhere so yeah loved dry cereal really loved cold fruit I also had these like jello bowls or these jello jello snack things it was strawberry jello with peaches in the jello oh so good it's like a cold fruit snack or even just like canned peaches or pears that were really cold <laughs> so specific oh so good i loved cold fruit smoothies as well i bought a huge pack of frozen berries like a frozen berry mix and i'd make smoothies with them that was delicious and then some of my favorite protein snacks uh so like cheese and crackers like i said i really liked trail mix trail mix almost always made me feel better when i needed just a little pick me up of protein with the almonds and peanuts and stuff yeah that trail mix a little a little handful of trail mix would make me feel so much better it was like magic oh a banana and peanut butter too that was a great snack i ate that a lot though and then i got canker sores so like if you're gonna do that maybe you have some different snacks in between but yeah i loved eating a banana with just peanut butter spread on it oh it was so good also at this time the fridge thinking about the fridge opening the door having all the foods in there all the smells happening all the leftovers the idea of opening the door to the fridge with all of that inside made me sick another note constipation <laughs> probably tmi well this whole video might be TMI. So yeah, I had constipation. Some things that helped me because it does not feel good. So I'm gonna share my tips here that I got from my doctor. Am I a doctor? No, but this worked for me, okay? So things that helped me, um, I got a magnesium drink mix. It's just like a powder you put in water and drink it to get magnesium in your system. Magnesium helps relaxes your muscles. And during pregnancy, something with the blood flow, you know, making a child, it slows down your digestive tract and makes it hard for it to work properly. <laughs> so magnesium helps relax those muscles and helps you digest things more comfortably. Also colace. Wow, colace was like a magic pill for me for a while. <laughs> <laughs> saved my life though really so some colas helped drinking more water that definitely helped and then eating cereal that had like fiber in it that definitely improved the situation so if you're going through this i'm so sorry call your doctor get some tips also you can try these out if you want to colas water magnesium cereal with fiber in it and Pregnancy is rough, uh, so any help you can get, right? Okay, some other notes I have. I'm at 10 weeks. That was our first in-person appointment at the OBGYN office. And luckily, my husband Nathan could come with me. A lot of offices have strict guidelines and rules and policies for COVID, but when there's an ultrasound, your partner can come with you. And so we got an ultrasound at this appointment. We got to see our little bean and get images of it. And then they took a ton of my blood. They took nine vials of my blood for the chromosome tests, the, um, like if I was a carrier for cystic fibrosis and also included in these tests was to be able to find the gender. So they took a ton of my blood. That lady at the lab, she just kept grabbing vial after vial after vial. And I was like, are you kidding me? She was like, yeah, these are all for you. <laughs> Okay, great. So they took a lot of my blood. They got all the tests. The test results were great. No chromosomal abnormalities. I was not a carrier for cystic fibrosis. And we found out the gender of our baby, which is a boy. It's so funny though, cause you get an email with your test results just saying like, your test results are here, log into your account. And then it has a little section that says, do you want to know the gender? And then you click a button and then it just tells you the gender. <laughs> the most anticlimactic thing. And I thought it was so funny. And it was the computer that told me it was a boy. And it was great to do the blood test because we got to know the gender of the baby when I was like 11 and a half weeks pregnant, which was way earlier than I thought. 
we would know the information so that was fun and it was so fun to tell our families we were pregnant that we were having a boy and then posting it on facebook and instagram was really fun i love making that little video if you haven't seen it maybe i'll post it here so you can watch it because i love it <laughs> And I believe those are all my notes on the first trimester. Oh my word, am I glad it's over. On Instagram, I said I was filming this first trimester video and I wondered if anyone had any questions about my first trimester. So I'll be answering those questions next. <sighs> so went up and down the stairs and now I'm out of breath. So first question, cravings. I kind of went over this already, but um, cottage cheese, cheese and crackers, trail mix. I don't know if these are really cravings. It was just like foods I was okay with. <laughs> Um, cold cereal, cold fruit. Loved that cold fruit. And then the pasta salad that I never got. Bananas and peanut butter. Smoothies. Nervous for delivery. Um, not incredibly so. Just because, like... People give birth all the time. It's been happening for thousands of years. I trust my body. I trust my doctors. I trust the place I go to to get the care that I'm getting for my pregnancy stuff. This might sound so dumb, but the part I am most nervous about is literally just driving to the hospital, just getting there. Once I'm there, I'm gonna feel so fine, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm most nervous about just getting to the hospital on time and uh, driving there. <laughs> is that dumb? That's how I feel. This is totally how I feel about traveling too when I have to fly somewhere. It's not about like the plane trip. It's not about all that. It's about getting to the airport. That's the part that keeps me up at night. That's the part that gives me bad dreams. I think this will be the same thing. Just getting to the hospital. All your symptoms. So I shared like everything. I went through the constipation, the exhaustion, the nausea. <laughs> I think I covered everything. How did you tell your husband? What was your first reaction to the news? So, this was a very planned for baby. I counted the days to the very day I could take a pregnancy test, the earliest I could to see if I was pregnant. So that is what I did. Took a pregnancy test and it was the faintest, the faintest little line. And I took it in the morning and I just ran upstairs to Nathan. And I was like, Nathan, I just took a pregnancy test. And it is so faint, but it's two lines, which means pregnant and then the next day I took another one still positive and then I think I took a third one on the next day still positive with an even stronger pink line so um that's how we found out we were pregnant was that I was just you know keeping track of everything and took the test and it was positive we were excited because we wanted to be pregnant and it was exciting and like it's happening it happened we're pregnant so that was fun and I think my first reaction was like, is this real? Is this real? Is this a real second line or is it fake? Is it a false positive? So that's why I took so many tests like all in a row to verify that I was in fact pregnant. I was in fact pregnant and I still am, so. Yep, so those are the questions. Thank you for those that asked a question and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something or you know you're not alone in something or you got some tips or something. Anyway, thank you for being here. And I'll end with a little bump date, if you will. It's uh, real tiny. It's there, it's just, it's just uh, small. So yeah, that's that. Thank you again for watching. And if you want to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video, click on subscribe, like this video if you liked it, leave a comment with any questions or anything you want to tell me. And I'll see you in my next video.